may be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Eastwood Academy family and the Houston Independent School District, I would like to welcome you to the class of 2021 graduation ceremony. Thank you for being here to support and celebrate our graduating seniors. Buenas tardes a todos. De parte de la Escuela Eastwood Academy y el Distrito Escolar Independiente de Houston, quiero darles la bienvenida a la ceremonia de graduación de la clase del 2021. Gracias por aquí para apoyar y celebrar a nuestros estudiantes graduados. Please join me in welcoming Carla Aguirre, who will be reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and the Texas Pledge. Will everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one day, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please remain standing for the national anthem, <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> which will be performed by Leslie Compian. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight over the over the ramparts we walk watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the Thank you. You may now be seated as our instructional specialist, Ms. Dixie Morales, gives her welcome remarks and introduces our special guests. Good afternoon. It is indeed my pleasure to be standing before you today to honor Eastwood Academy's graduating class of 2021. Throughout these last four years, I have watched these incredible young men and young women grow up to extraordinary young adults. I know they will go on to meet life's challenges and accomplish great things and make significant contributions to their communities. Buenas tardes. Es ciertamente un placer estar aquí ahora con ustedes en honor a la clase del 2021. Durante este último últimos cuatro años, he visto a estos jóvenes increíbles crecer en adultos extraordinarios. Sé que van a encontrar desafíos en la vida, pero van a poder lograr grandes cosas y hacer contribuciones significantes a sus comunidades. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce our special guests, as well as our faculty and staff. Mrs. Judith Cruz, second vice president of the HISD Board of Education. 
Dr. Franklin Kowalski, school support officer. Mrs. Brandy Lira, principal of Eastwood Academy High School. Ms. Carla Varela, instructional specialist. Dr. Yulber Baronke, registrar. Mrs. Elizabeth Stanley, counselor. Dr. Rolando Trevino, former Eastwood Academy principal and currently the chief academic officer of the FAR San Juan Alamo Independent School District. <clears throat> Mr. Jimmy Collins, friend and sponsor of Eastwood Academy High School. Mr. Samir Paul, friend and sponsor of Eastwood Academy High School. Mr. Raj Sohatra, executive director and co-founder of Momentum Education and Eastwood Academy's high school teachers, Ms. Michelle, Mr. Perez, Ms. Conflitti, Mr. Deal, Mr. Duran, Ms. Fleming, Ms. Solis, Ms. Harvey, and Mr. Aber, and Mr. Martinez. <laughs> At this point, I would like to invite Dr. Rolando Trevino to give a brief message to our graduates. Buenos dias, buenos dias, alegría, buenos dias, al amor, buenos dias, señor sol, muy buenos dias a todos. Good morning, uh, graduates. I'd like to give just a few remarks. I'd like to begin by, first of all, thanking you and congratulating you for doing such great job as students. But I'd like to also stop and just simply acknowledge the fact that you are graduating from one of the best high schools in the country. You are graduating from one of the best high schools in the state. And in my humble opinion, y con el permiso de la directora Lira, you are graduating from the best high school in the Houston metropolitan area. Congratulations. I will bring two them with me because I know it's hot and I won't go into the noon hour. The first message I'd like to give is quite frankly, for you to take stock of your priorities. Make sure you actually evaluate as students as you transition into a new beginning, what is it that you value? I oftentimes speak to mentees and students and I ask them, tell me what you spend your time on and I will tell you what you value. And then I proceed on to asking them, graduates, tell me what you spend your money on and I will tell you what you love. Make sure you take stock of your priorities, students. The next speech, set, set of uh, messages in my speech, I'd like to engage the parents. Quisiera invitar a los padres que sean partícipes en estas pe pequeñas lecciones, en esta pequeña charla. Students, there's an interesting formula in life that over the years I've learned to somehow figure out. The first part is this. You have participated at Eastwood Academy High School, and you are today graduating with one of the best diplomas you can get, one of the most rigorous diplomas you can get. Would someone do us the honor, please? Thank you, Dr. Kowalski. Thank you, sir. You're graduating with one of the best diplomas in, in Houston ISD and in the state. And that brings about what we call knowledge and intellect, experiences with rigor, which will lead you to be successful in college. Pero lo que me, yo quisiera hacer es hablar un poco sobre otro tema, no solamente lo, la inteligencia y lo académico, lo cual es el día de que, la razón por la cual estamos celebrando hoy. Pero quisiera hablar sobre un tema que se llama la sabiduría, wisdom. You see, students, we couldn't be celebrating your graduation today if you didn't have a little bit of wisdom coming from home. Wisdom, la sabiduría, viene de esos conocimientos y esas enseñanzas que tus padres, que sus padres les han dado a cada uno de ustedes. Wisdom, let me define it. You see, my, my father and my mother both graduated, uh, both dropped out of school. 
my father as early as fifth grade. And my mother, trust me, did not finish high school. But just because I have four or five degrees and I spent 15 years in college, it does not make me any better than them. They worked hard. My father was a blue collar worker and he led his whole family to do great things. Wisdom, la sabiduría. My mother was a school custodian for Houston ISD and she retired as a proud custodian. And she would teach me very simple lessons of sweeping the hallways of Hamilton and, and Hogg Middle School late at night after football practice and taking out the heavy trash bags to the dumpsters at about 9.30, 9.45 at night, every night. Wisdom. That translated later into carrying the burden of leadership among me and understanding that there were responsibilities that a good leader has. Sabiduría. You combine wisdom and intellect and knowledge and you add a special sauce to that formula, which is knowing who you are. Find who you are. Si aún no saben quién son, quiénes son, investiguen eso como alumnos. Acudan a sus padres para que les ayuden. Aprendan quiénes son. Who am I? What is my purpose in life? Aprendan a saber lo en que creen. Find out who you are. Very simple, right? So I'm going to wrap that up and give you one last message. But as I wrap it up, it means this. One, priority. know your priorities. Sepan bien cuáles son sus prioridades. Two, understand that between wisdom and knowledge, you can do great things. But know to appreciate it and never think anything negative of the humbling beginnings that your parents may have had. Three, perhaps, and most importantly, I'd like to add towards the end, it's have a plan of life. If you don't know who you are and you don't plan your life, the life will dictate exactly what you should be doing in life. But there's plenty of research that says if you write down your goals, you can attain 40 to 60% of that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a pretty good gamble to take. Just write down your goals. Tengan un plan de vida. Padres, ayúdenles a sus hijos a tener un plan de vida. Poder proyectar qué voy a hacer en cinco años, en diez años, en quince años. Y al final va a haber una variación muy pequeña, pero una variación. Have your plan of life. What will I do five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now? And in the end, there will be a variation of that plan. And that's just a special touch that whatever religion you believe in and whatever God you believe in, that's the special touch to that plan of life. I would have spoken for another 25 minutes, but it's a little too hot. So thank y'all so much. Que Dios los bendiga y felicidades a todos los graduados. Que se hagan fiestas, que se hagan pachangas y que celebren todos. Felicidades. Thank you, Dr. Trevino. Dr. Trevino has been very involved with Eastwood Academy over the years since he left Eastwood uh, back when he was principal. And so it's our honor to have him here with a great time. I would like to welcome a friend of Eastwood Academy to the, to the microphone. Before I allow Samir to, to speak a few words to you all, a little background. Uh, Samir and I were introduced through Momentum Education, uh, formerly known as One Jump, a few years ago. And since then, he has really come to love Eastwood so much that he has single-handedly and through his organizations, Silver Sand and Woodlands Financial, provided support to our cybersecurity pathway with Ms. Harvey, Skills USA and Corpus Christi, helping our engineering program when we didn't have enough money for materials so that our students could complete their capstone presentations. And it's not all about the money, although that certainly helps, so keep it coming. <laughs> it's also about the passion that he has for education and for Eastwood Academy specifically. And so at this time, I'd like to welcome Samir Paul to say a few words.
my dear Eastwood family. C congratulations to all of you. you. You make us proud. I always learn something when I go through your school. Earlier this week, we attended your college day at your school. Now, I know a few things I learned in my past visits over the years. We know that your graduation rate is 100%. We know that you are a national blue ribbon school, and there will be many more. We know that the US News and World Report ranked you among the nation's top schools. We also know that you have the best principal in your district two years in a row. Yeah. So last Tuesday on college day, I'm walking down the hallway of your school. That's a day of celebration. There was a large banner still there, I'm sure, with a picture of all of you graduates with your teachers and your principal. It's just an emotionally charged photo. I stop and I ask Principal Lira, how many of these 100 students in this picture started in the ninth grade and are graduating today? She said, almost all have only for had them came back. It shows that you have chosen in life to commit to yourself, work hard, trust in Eastwood community, and not give up. Whether you're joining the US Navy, going to HCC, or a four-year college, the commitment that you have shown, shown so far and the choices you will make will take you very far in life. The challenge is to sustain this success as you take the next step to higher education. Your mission is to have more choices and more economic opportunities so you can make a difference. The goal of the mission is to change the lives of people in your family and community for many future generations. Your family, the Eastwood community, our businesses, and nonprofits are your safety net. And we commit to support you after high school, through college, and into your professional career. Dream big. You are not alone. Our nonprofits will support you in many ways as you go forward. You are the role model and future students will celebrate your legacy and success. You made a great choice to join Eastwood. You are family now. Congratulations. It is an honor to introduce the salutatorian of Eastwood Academy High School, class of 2021, Veronica Mendoza. Yeah. Veronica is a very determined and hardworking young woman. Words cannot express how proud we all are of her accomplishments. Veronica has always demonstrated a high level of dedication to her academic endeavors. I am proud to announce that she will be attending Wesleyan University in the fall where she plans to major in engineering and business and minor in East Asian studies. Please join me in welcoming Veronica Mendoza. Yeah. Um, thank you, Ms. Dixie. It's hot, so I'm gonna try to make this brief, guys. Good afternoon, family, friends, faculty, and fellow graduates. I'd like to welcome you all to our graduation and thank you all for being here. My name is Veronica Mendoza and I'm supposed to be here to deliver a speech about how we're all great and pretend we all wanted to show up at this field at 10 a.m. dressed in basically bathrobes just to get a piece of paper. I'm kidding, of course. This is where you laugh. <laughs> 
Um, graduation is more than just a piece of paper. It's a celebration of all the hard work and achievements and each one of us has accomplished over the past four years. I mean, we finally did it. All those sleep deprived days, walking through the halls and stress induced mental breakdowns have finally paid off. In fact, if you think about it, we really only had two and a half years of a normal high school life. We survived through Hurricane Harvey, the coronavirus pandemic, online school, college applications, and AP tests and ATC finals. Transitioning from in-person to virtual learning and realizing that really meant we could just sleep through all our classes. The uncertainty of whether we would go to college or take a different career path. Deciding if it was a good idea to use the my Wi-Fi isn't working excuse for the 20th time. <laughs> and we've been through a lot. In fact, there were men I felt overwhelmed and they want to give up. And I'm sure many have felt the same way. But we didn't give up. Not because we were compelled by society that we had to go to college, but because we aren't doing this for ourselves. Many of us come from low income families and are the first ones in our families to go to college. We persevered through these past four years to repay our parents' kindness and the sacrifices of adults that want to see us succeed. The fact that we can be here today and receive a high school diploma is incredible in and of itself. Not to mention, many of us will be attending four-year institutions in the fall. We should be proud of ourselves, and I hope that each and every one of you uses the same determination to pave your own paths in life despite its ups and downs. Ups and downs. And of course, it wouldn't be a graduation speech without thanking everyone who helped me be where I am today. Thank you to my friends and peers who, who listened to my rant and were always on my side to my eMERGE program managers, Ms. Jeremy and Ms. Keyes, who helped me every step of the way through the college application process and helped me discover what was possible for a first-generation low-income student. To Ms. Michelle, my sophomore English teacher, my cross-country coach, our class sponsor, and at the end of the day, a friend who encouraged me, supported me, gave me a laugh when I needed it, shared the burden of fundraising with me, and wrote like 50 recommendation letters. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> also, a shout out to Miss Conflitty for dealing with moments when I tested her patience and for letting me turn in my capstone project late, because God knows I would have failed that class otherwise. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> Mami, yo sé que no he entendido nada de lo que acabo de decir, pero esto es para usted. Gracias por todo lo que ha hecho por nosotros todos estos años. Gracias por sacrificarse y venir a un país desconocido para que mis hermanos y yo pudiéramos tener un futuro mejor. Gracias por siempre ser atenta y cocinarme rellenos de whisky y por traerme fruta mientras estaba estudiando. Pero más que todo, gracias por dar hasta la última gota, gota de sudor por mí. Sé que la decisión de irme a la universidad lejos no es algo con lo que usted está de acuerdo, pero quiero que sepa que ya no soy una niña. Soy la mujer que me ha enseñado a ser. Tengo fe y quiero que usted también tenga fe, que primeramente Dios estaré bien. A mis hermanos, gracias por apoyarme y ayudarme a crecer y darme la sabiduría que tengo ahora. Navy, gracias por ser como una segunda mamá para mí. To my dad, who couldn't be here with us today, but whom I know is proud of me as he watches from above. Papito, gracias por todo lo que hiciste por mí y por apoyarme siempre en todo momento. Siempre fue tu niña consentida y eso siempre lo llevaré en mi corazón. Knowing my mom, she probably didn't hear any of that. Anyway, I encourage each and every one of you to find that person who was there for you through thick and through thin and to thank them. It doesn't have to be a fancy show of gratitude, just a simple thank you will do. Now, this is the part where I tell you all that the world is your oyster and that you can accomplish anything because we are the new generation and we are the digital natives that were born into a world of peak technological innovation. Although we really all know we're just slightly unhinged. But on a real note, I do sincerely believe that every single one of you has the potential to achieve your dreams if you apply yourselves. So take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. Don't be afraid to take risks. 
take breaks when you need them, take care of your physical and mental health, and most importantly, don't forget the people that you've made bonds with these past four years. You may go your separate ways after today, but you may encounter them one day, five, 10, or even 20 years from now when you need help in life. We never know what fate has in store for us. So look forward with an open mind and a confident stride. Okay, I think I've talked for long enough now. So everyone, please join me in congratulating the class of 2021. Woo! At this time, I would like to introduce our last guest speaker, Jimmy Collins, to the microphone. Jimmy Collins has also served as a friend of Eastwood Academy over the last several years, uh, met him through Mr. Samir Paul, and has, in the same ways, provided the same type of support for Eastwood and its students over the years. And we're incredibly indebted to him and to the entire organizations that he represents uh, for everything that they have done for our great school. So at this time, please join me in welcoming Mr. Jimmy Collins. Uh, good morning, and first and foremost, it's an absolute honor to be here and to uh, honor the Eastwood Academy class of 2021 and all your supporters. Uh, my name is Jimmy Collins, president of Silver Sand Services, and Silver Sand Service and Eastwood Academy have partnered up to enhance opportunities at Eastwood. We continue to reach out to your leader and principal, Ms. Brandy Lear, uh, to give back to the community through Eastwood Academy. First, I have to take this opportunity to recognize your leader, Ms. Brandy Lear. She worked so hard to bring this high school the leadership needed to be successful. She loves her students and it absolutely shows. She wants each student to succeed and she takes the interest as if you each, each of you were her, her own child. Student body of Eastwood Academy High School, you just don't see this, at least I don't. You're a blessed community to know her and to have her as your principal. And that is why I am happy to recognize her as the East Area Principal of the Year. And then she got this twice. And you know what? Everybody's sitting. I think it's time to stand up and give her a standing ovation. What do you think? All right, let's take a, a little bit about Eastwood and the class of 2021. Each of you have worked so hard and isn't it hot? Oh my God, it is terrible. Working so hard to get this honor to walk across this stage and get your diploma. But when I've come to visit your, your campus and watch each of you in the activities that you're working at, it's not an individual effort. You guys, you work together as a team. And it's clear how important teamwork is when you're in the, in the working environment. And you'll see this when you leave and you go into college and you get into the workforce. And that's why I believe Eastwood is such a unique school experience. From the top, your leader, Ms. Brandy uh, Lear, each of your teachers and the resources you work with having given you the support to achieve your goals. Take this with you, all of those incredible ventures that you've learned in this school to the next level. As I mentioned before, when I walk through the halls of the campus at your schools, and, and it's just incredible the experience that you, that you see and, and you feel. The buy-in from your teachers absolutely incredible. You just see it. It's, it's wonderful. Watching your cybersecurity talks, your engineering presentations. It's obvious that from an outsider myself, that this leadership in this school is absolutely top notch. I happen to be a father 
of four young adults. And I can tell you right now that this guy is absolutely proud of each and every one of you. I don't know you, but I'm proud of you. But I have a request. Go out into this world and make a difference. Each and every one of you, please make a difference. Touch someone's life in a positive way and make this world, oops, woo, good catch, huh? This is important right here. Not... Touch someone's life in a positive way and make this world better by your contributions. Do not wait for someone else to step up. You step up, please, and thank you. Thank you, Jimmy, so much for that. At this time, we will be presenting the Houston Independent School District Board Awards. Recipients are selected on the basis of outstanding performance in the areas of academic, extracurricular activities, community involvement, and character. This morning, we have the distinct honor of having the HISD Board of Education second vice president, Mrs. Judith Cruz, to present these prestigious awards to our graduates. Please welcome Ms. Judith Cruz. Buenas tardes, good afternoon. It is such an honor to be here with, with all of you um, today. Es un orgullo y un honor estar aquí con ustedes hoy en día. Welcome to your commencement, class of 2021. For the seniors who couldn't join us, I hope you can feel the love from here as you watch this because it's flowing your way. Everyone who has helped you on your journey to graduation is so proud of you today. Your family, friends, teachers, administrators, your board of education, all of us. You have come such a long way through incredibly difficult circumstances, including navigating through the COVID pandemic. COVID took so many things from us, but it could not take away your resolve, your determination to earn your diploma and build your future. Remember all of those who have, who have helped you along the way, and most importantly, resolve to do the same for others. On behalf of the trustees of the HISD Board of Education, it is my great, great pleasure to share with you the names of the recipients of the Board of Education Student Awards, a distinctive honor given annually to outstanding seniors in recognition of their overall exceptional accomplishments in the areas of academic achievement, character, service, and leadership to Eastwood Academy High School. Por parte de la mesa directiva de HISD, es un honor poder compartir um, estos premios hoy con los estudiantes, los graduados que están recibiendo este honor um, por lo que han hecho, no solo académ académicamente por servicio y su um, carácter. The names of the four outstanding seniors receiving honorable mention. Please come up to receive your award. Liana Garcia. Jalen Rodriguez. Jacob Rojas. Perfect. 
Vicente Barrera. And now the recipients of the 2021 Outstanding Student Board Awards are Stephanie Acosta, Christian Salas. I want to end with a quote by an artist named Priga Kahlo. Quiero terminar con una cita de la artista Frida Kahlo. Pies, para que las quiero si tengo alas para volar. Felicidades, class of 2021. I would like to introduce a remarkable young man we have had the pleasure of having at Eastwood Academy. Matthew Nugent is recognized not only for being valid, 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 valedictorian of the class 2021, but also for his driven character. Matthew Nugent will be graduating high school having successfully taken 16 advanced placement courses, which have prepared him well for his journey beyond high school and earned for him the title AP Scholar with Honor. I am proud to announce that Matthew will be attending Cornell College, majoring in computer science and engineering. We are confident that he will continue making Eastwood and his family very proud. Please join me in Matthew Nugent. Good afternoon, everyone. It's good to see all of you. Um, when I started writing the speech, I was so lost about where I should start. And not even just where I should start, but what I should include in the speech. I can't just treat this as any other graduation speech. I mean, a, a few weeks ago, I wasn't sure if I could have my whole family here. Of course, I was, my expectations were exceeded on that front. I found out that I'd bring 20 people. I really just wondered why they put a limit at that point. Um, but anyway, I knew I couldn't let this speech lose the essence of what, a, of what a graduation speech truly is. After all, when we set aside the context of this event, however weird and crazy it may be, we are here to celebrate our amazing accomplishments over the past four years of our lives. So. Let's give ourselves a quick round of applause. Now I'd like to talk about what graduation means to me and what it means to everyone here. To some of you, it marks the transition into four more years of learning and expanding your base of knowledge. To some of you, it marks the beginning of a long and prosperous career. To some of you, it marks finally being able to get away from your parents. And for the parents here, it marks finally being able to turn that room into the home gym you've always wanted. For me though, it's an opportunity to reflect on everything that's led up to this. Don't get me wrong, graduation is about our future and what we make of it. But understanding our past is the first step in making the best future we can. You know, I think I finally realized why we've had to take so many history classes. I know personally that the past four years of my life, at least the Eastwood parts, have been some of the best years of my life. Coming from the schools I had previously been in, I never would have thought that I would have come to love Eastwood like I do now. Everyone here is so amazing and welcoming that I truly feel like y'all are my second family. 
and I know that without this environment that we've been able to cultivate at Eastwood Academy, I wouldn't be here today. As hard as it may seem, my insanely high intelligence and unusually large ego wasn't enough to get me here. So in my eyes, any one of you could be up here giving this speech and you would have every right to do so. In talking about my wonderful second family here, I'd like to mention a few people that really stand out to me and always make my day better whenever I see them. If I don't mention you, blame HISD for putting a limit on my speech. <laughs> I'd like to thank my two best friends, Nezzy and Alvaro, for all the fun times hanging out during and after school, playing basketball or whatever we could think of. I'd like to thank Mr. McMurchie for always going out of his way to be as supportive as he possibly can. And I'd like to thank Mr. Martinez for having the best sense of humor that Eastwood can offer. And for everyone else, look around, find someone you care about, and think about all the times that person has been able to make your day just a little bit better by being there. Now, after that beautiful moment of staring at each other, I'd like to address something that we all knew would come up, COVID. Because of COVID, many of us have had to spend our entire senior year with little or no contact with people outside our family. And it was hard, harder than many of us probably thought it would be. We saw our grades suffer, our time management disappear, our bodies grow wider instead of taller, and for a lot of us, this has led to a degradation in our mental states. But it's not all doom and gloom. Yes, it was hard, harder for us than any other class in recent history. But to only mention the extra hardships we went through would be a disservice to the class. First off, what other class in history can say they didn't have to go to school for a whole year and still end up graduating at the end of it? That's right, none. What other class in history can say they woke up to their alarms at 8.30, hit snooze five times, and still got counted present? <laughs> okay, right again, none. <laughs> what other class in history can say they didn't have to look their teachers in the face when we chose not to do their homework? Yep, none. But in all seriousness, if there is one thing that you should take away from this speech in the past four years of our lives, it's that we can do anything. And I know it's cliche, but it's absolutely true. So many people would have crashed and burned if they were in your shoes, but you didn't. The odds were stacked against you, but you didn't care. You persevered. The world smacked you in the face with a friggin' pandemic, and you said, bring it on. Ain't nothing gonna stop me. You did that, all of you. And if you can do that, that, there's not a single thing that can stop you from doing anything else you want to do. From here on out, the world needs to remember not to mess with the class of 2021. Will the candidates for graduation please stand? Ms. Lira, principal of Eastwood Academy High School, and I would like to present to you these candidates for graduation. They have been certified as having met all requirements for graduation as set forth by the Texas Education Agency and the Board of Education of the Houston Independent School District and are eligible to receive their diplomas. <laughs> Graduating with highest honors are our valedictorian Matthew Nugent.
our salutatorian, Veronica Mendoza. Priscilla Lara. Jacqueline Perez. Stephanie Acosta. Liana Garcia. Graduating with honors are Jacob Rojas. Astri Miranda Reyes. Daniela Huerta Sarmiento. Jaylin Rodriguez. Javier Amaro Rodriguez. Vicente Barrera. Zaya Shorty. Christian Salas. Ana Guerrero. Sharina Desai. And Ariana Santos. Diego Aguilera Zavala. Carla Aguirre. Rocío Alfaro. Ramsey Asmari. Evelyn Alvarado. Christian Avad. Rosa Ayala. Victoria Baena. Gabriela Bautista. Brenda Cabanas. María Carreño Cuevas. Fernando Sejudo. Desiree Chaires. Elena Chavez. Leslie Compian. Jocelyn Cruz Medina. Janet Cruz. Ricardo Cruz. Kobe De Leon Escobar. Richard de Los Angeles. Diego de Luna. Sherlyn del Angel. Angel Diaz. Abigail Esquivel. Matthew Flores.
César Fuentes. Kimberly Galván. Gerardo García. Manuel García. Mariela García. Debony Laura Garza. Rosa Gómez. Christian González. José González. Natasha González. Hailey Guerra. <laughs> Melissa Guzman. <laughs> Rosalie Hernandez. <laughs> Kevin Iraeta. Luis Lopez Vázquez. Lorena Luna. Kimberly Marquez. Sebastian Marquez. Israel Martinez Rocha. Emily Martinez. Jesus Martinez. Karen Martinez. Zaria Martinez. Stephen Mathais. Alfonso Melchor. Francisco Mendez. Vanessa Mendoza Hernández. Josué Meraz. Brandon Mireles. Miguel Mora. Jonathan Navarrete. Daniel Negrete. Álvaro Nieves. Javier Núñez. Alondra Ochoa. Diego Ortez. Robin Ortiz. Daniel Patino. Victor Peña. Cassandra Quintanilla. Hi. 
Isabel Ramirez. Valeria Ramos. Edwin Recinos. Brian Rendon. Edwin Rivera. Luz Robles. Nathan Robles. Andrew Rocha. Carla Rodriguez. Sofia Rodriguez. Jafet Roque. Matthew Salazar. Savannah Salazar. Angelica Sanchez. Damien Sanchez. Carlos Silva. Jocelyn Tello. Yetlanesi Treviño. Abraham Vasquez. Miriam Vega. Jacqueline Velasquez. Simon Velasquez. Marlene Vera Velasquez. Vanessa Villalta. Michael Vomers. Jonathan Welch. This is Jonathan's sister who came to surprise him today at graduation. She was deployed, but she's back for the special moment. Kimberly Savala. Stephanie Suniga. I know we're almost to the end, HISD. Please don't cut me off. I have something very special. <laughs> so every year, I'm Principal Lira, by the way. <laughs> every year, and this year, I wrote a heartfelt speech 
that I felt encompass the year that we've been through for each of my graduates. But this year is a different year, right? So we should do things a little differently. This moment isn't about me as your principal. It's not about any of the adults on the stage. It's about you, our students. And our top 15% are wearing white gowns. They've earned that designation. We have our valedictorian and salutatorians on the stage. They earned those things, correct? Based on their academic performance over the last four years. However, there are a lot of you in blue gowns that have achieved greatness that isn't calculated by numbers. Because you've endured so much. I know we've had people lose family members over the years. We've had some hospitalized over the years, right? You've been through a lot. And so randomly, I got this message from one of our graduates that I will keep anonymous and said that it was their lifelong dream to have their graduation speech read at graduation. And so I threw mine out the window and said, well, dang, this person has overcome a lot. I'll read their speech for them. So here it is. When I began dreaming of this day back in elementary school, I thought that being dressed in your cap and gown and being able to say that you made it would make you feel like you were standing on top of the whole world. Being the little girl that I was, I thought the road to this day would be smooth and full of smiles. The only thing I didn't realize is that that road was not as simple as it seemed. In fact, it was bumpy and tough, and at times I lost my way. At one point, the skies weren't even blue. The flowers wouldn't bloom during the spring and the sun wouldn't shine as bright during the summer. And although it's hard for me to say these next few words, it's my truth and the truth is, I didn't think I'd be here alive to see this day or even a tomorrow. So when I tell you that standing here in this moment right now through the proxy of my principal, <laughs> it feels so surreal. I don't say it at all too lightly. I can't speak for everyone else, but I can say that my journey here was, a dif was difficult to go through. One that left me with scars to remember and memories that I would never forget. But this journey also came with lessons about life that have helped me through the years. It came with blessings that have showered some happiness in my world for which I will always be grateful. I don't know how I made it through every thunderstorm and every battle, but one thing I know for sure is that I fought every day with every drop of strength I had in me. Even when I couldn't walk and was tempted to give up, I fought every single time through moments in this cruel yet beautiful thing called life. And although I can't stand up there and tell my whole story, which has countless, ch countless chapters containing many twists and turns, heartbreak and tears, along with its moments of laughter and joy, I can stand here and tell you that color does exist, even when things may look gray. Even when you're alone, there's always someone that will walk into your life and take you at your worst. Wounds can heal and scars can close. Home is anywhere that you want it to be and happiness exists in everyone's world. Sometimes we just have to let it in. Society can give you a handbook of its expectations, but only you get to decide what you want to be and who you want to be. Whether you want to believe it or not, you're not you are allowed to be the happiest you can, just as who you are. You are someone in the world and you are all capable of doing incredible things. As cliche as, cliche as this might sound, I could do it. And you can do it if you haven't already. Before ending this, I just want to take a moment and thank all of those who came into my life and stuck around through the greatest of times and through the not so great. I even want to thank those who at one point walked away. Thank you for all the lessons you taught me and for helping me grow even stronger than I already was. Thank you to my group that filled these past four years with memories and stories that I will forever cherish and look back on. Thank you to my best friend who did many wonders and filled my heart in more ways than she could ever imagine. To the teachers at Eastwood Academy who always cared and showed it without shame, especially the ones who constantly gave me all the help I needed to make sure I passed. You are amazing people and thank you for all, the, for all you do for your students. I'm reading this blindly for those of you that don't know. To Principal Lyra, thank you for literally everything.
I could never be able to thank you enough for everything you've done, not just for me, but for every student on campus. Thank you for always listening and accepting me as who I am, even through my challenges and moments of figuring it all out. You are an incredible woman for all that you do and continue to do. I also want to give thanks to the others who came into my life and showed me a world beyond four walls, along with giving me a push to have confidence in myself and to make myself just as happy as much as I could go out of my way to make others happy too. And now a very special thanks to my family, especially my parents who brought me into this world without having a clue on what would happen next. Through all the struggles, through all the fights and rough times, we made it through. And 18 years later, your daughter is graduating and flying higher than ever. I hope that despite everything, I've made you proud and continue to do so no matter what. Thank you, mom, for all the pushes you gave me to continue succeeding and showing me that if I, I can if I want to, and you forgot that you will if you try, but I'll add it in there. Thank you, dad, for showing me how to be tough and fight through anything, no matter how difficult the challenge might be. To the class of 2021, congratulations. We made it this far and there is a very long road ahead, but for right now, we can stop and soak in this accomplishment after all the challenges we have had to face. You all are amazing people and I wish you all nothing but the best. She knows who she is. Will all the candidates please stand? This is the moment we talked about. Having completed the curriculum prescribed by the Texas Education Agency and the Houston Independent School District, and upon the recommendation of the registrar, by the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, I now confer upon each of you your high school diploma with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereunto. You may now move your tassels from the right to the left. Congratulations. Please join me in the processional. Thank you all.